Hello my friends, welcome back with me and this time we will discuss about how to simulate a tensor test using explicit dynamics methods. Okay, without any further ado, let's just get straight to the point. Okay. Uh, the first thing you want to do, like as usually, we will take the engineering data to the project schematic, the geometry to the schematic too, and also the main topic that we will discuss, the explicit dynamics. You can found it in the access system and try to choose explicit dynamic direct to the project schematic. Okay, so we got a uh, three table here. So the first thing we want to do is to choose our material. Uh, there's uh, so many material in the ANSI software, but big, uh, and also this variance of material we need to use is based on our simulation that we're gonna do. And because we will gonna do the explicit dynamics simulation what we want to do is to choose the explicit material so this material have the properties to support our uh, simulation in explicit dynamics okay and uh, let's just for the example we will use the steel steel stainless uh where's the steel let's find the steel Okay, let's use the steel. Let's use the SS3. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I got confused. Okay, uh, let's just go to the basic. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's go for. Ah, uh, there's so many materials that I don't know. Okay, let's go. Let's go for SS3. 04 stainless steel okay okay after uh, you can delete this material to total steel okay after you choose your material for our for your simulation let's just close the entering data so you we already choose the material now we need to go to design our object Okay, now in this step, we will try to configure our how to uh, settings of the simulation by putting inputting the material into the, our geometry, uh, define the size of our mesh of our our 3D object that we will simulate, and also the boundary condition that we will setting for our simulation like and also setting the analysis and uh, define the solution that we want to see and the deformation the stress that uh, are happening in the, our uh, object uh, like that so uh, the first thing we need to do is go to this project here we can see the geometry have the equation mark symbol which means this is not a uh, fully setting there's something that uh, settings that you need to define so uh, to see what we need to do setting is press the geometry solid here and see the yellow bars in the material uh, this which this means the setting need to be uh, this uh, this table need to be setting 
to we need to define the setting of our assignment here which means the assignment is to choose the material that we want uh, to apply to our 3d object and, and because of that uh, before we already define our material which is we choose the stainless steel for our material that what we want to put into our design so you can press here and choose the ss304 stainless steel here and already uh, you can see that the question mouse symbol is already changed into the check, uh, checklist uh, the green checklist symbol which means the setting for the geometry is complete uh, and then after that we can go to the mesh here to define our size the size of our mesh that we want to input our to our 3d geometry uh, so uh, first of all you can you can just go to the default uh, size that already setting by the software or maybe you can change the size of mesh if you want to be more detailed or the contour of your data geometry will be a uh, one you want to make it more smooth and uh, which this size will affect of your uh, effect to your result uh, that you will have uh, later when you run in the simulation like for example this is the default setting of uh, that defined by software uh, you can be more. Uh, you can decrease the smile, uh, the size of the uh, your mesh here. Let's say that uh, I will try to put the 0 0.5 millimeter of my geometry here. After you put the 0 0.5 millimeter here, you can go to the go and update again your mesh, and your the mesh of your two geometry will be changed into uh, the size that you will define. Here you can see the difference before. Uh, uh, the different with uh, the file size but and with my 0 0.5 millimeter that I uh, that my I, I define by myself you can see the different which is uh, which that uh, 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 my my settings for the mesh is more small and also will lead to the uh, the, the smoothness of your 3d geometry Okay. After that, uh, you can uh, you can define it by your own for the element size here. And after that, after you already define your mesh, update your mesh, you can go to the here explicit dynamic, and you can see there's a question mark here, which is that uh, there need to be settings in this explicit dynamics, and the, you can see the analysis setting is have a question mark, and put uh, press here and look uh, there's a uh, the uh, some that you need to define or need to put the, yeah you need to define the setting here is the end time here is to define your uh, your last time uh, the time that you want to apply to your simulation basically we usually use about uh, 0 0.001 seconds here then you can see the analysis thing is already changing is done but the asbestos dynamic is still a hyper question mark uh, yeah in this set in this uh, in this in this bars here in this uh, settings here uh, this is a border recognition uh, you need to define your border recognition here uh, which means that you need to put the support and also the load that you want to apply in your simulation here. and because like uh, because the tutorial is about the tension test I want to do the tension test uh, tension analysis which means you can look uh, we know that the, you if you want to uh, do the uh, tension analysis you need to like yeah, you can uh, imagine how to do tension test right like putting the displacement here and displacement also here and try to pull uh, uh, with the opposite direction of the uh, the the uh, the opposite direction, uh, the force, uh, you need to uh, like yeah pulling each other and until this one is stretched and break. Okay. Uh, so uh, actually I will do the 
that like that uh, I will try to uh, following the the illustration there but I will change I, I will not put the displacement and this specimen here uh, rather but rather I will put the displacement here and try to uh, uh, create the fixed support here so uh, the illustration is this will holding the object and this will uh, this will stretch this will having a displacement so the displacement here will be pull the object and this will be having a uh, uh, and hopefully this will uh, this will create a crack and break I have a fail okay uh, so that's the last question but how to do it is uh, you need to go into the access element here to the insert and choose the fixed support and this specimen and then in this fixed support you need you want to uh, define the surface of your uh, width sides that you want to be, uh, to make it fixed like in this there's a uh, like in this uh, 3d geometry here uh, which size that you want to make it will be fixed and not move so based on our illustration before I will put the fixed board here and here so this will our be our fixed support and this specimen for our uh, geometry will be here and here <laughs> okay the next step is uh, for you define the switch surface that you want to be uh, support uh, will be the support will be holding the load that we give and also which size that you want to be applied the load here <laughs> you need and after that you need to define the value of your load uh, and in this case this will be the displacement how much that you want to be this part will having a displacement here so because we want to stretch the middle here we need to this uh, displace we need to give the displacement here into the minus uh, minus x axis based on the coordinate here the one this will be stretched and how to do that is going to the x component here and try to put the uh, like a value maybe let's say that we want to minus 20 millimeter here minus 20, uh, minus 20 millimeter okay so, uh, and based on this this will be having a displacement uh, displacement about 20 millimeter to the right okay and we will get the stretch money in the middle of the uh, our geometry here okay the settings of the boundary condition for your simulation is done now the last step is to define which result which which result that you want to have a look like the strain you want to look the strain of your material and also the stress of your material and maybe about the deformation of your material here so there's uh, many solution that you can get uh, it's based on what do you want to look on your geometry here. after you all done here you can just go solve it because we already done we already done the messing this border condition that we setting and also we want to already define the result that we want okay in now after we simulate our uh, we got the result okay you can you get the result of our simulation here and you can see the result for the strain the, the strain the stress and also the deformation here which is you can see the result here and uh let's we let's say that what's what is the difference between this method and but uh, about this video and with the video that I just uh, I sent uh, I published before my last video okay this is the result that I got for my simulation 
I got the string, the trace, and also the total deformation. So the question is, what's make uh, what's make uh, this simulation is different before the last video that I also uh, published on my YouTube on my YouTube because the last video is also the pencil test. Yeah, maybe it's for the compass model. But what is the general different? Uh, what is the big difference that we can see in this simulation? And the other solution for my last video yes uh, you're right uh, we got this this thing here no? uh, what is this uh, if I may say is uh, we got the breaking uh, uh, let's say the uh, fracture 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 process here we can see the fracture process or the breaking uh, the break specimen that we this, uh, the the breaking uh, design here uh, when we put the load uh, the support and there's a uh, displacement here we know that there will be uh, the design or the specimen that we create will have a fracture or will uh, will be break for the specific uh, load that we apply to the uh, to our uh, design or object here and in this uh, simulation we can see that we can see the process of breaking in the object that we applied the load here uh, let's see let's see the, the breaking process here uh, you can see that uh, uh, the pretty object I mean the specimen that we analysis here will have a load and there's a breaking uh, process here which is now we know we know uh, in metallurgy we know is this uh, knacking knacking process until the metal is broke uh, already uh, uh, having a fail fail here uh, so that's uh, uh, the big difference about the this simulation and the other simulation if the other simulation is, we don't have uh, this process the breaking process we we just know the like the the safety of the, uh, the our design uh, the lifetime but in this we got uh, this process the breaking process here uh, okay uh, that's it for my video for my tutorial video hopefully that this video will help you all uh, and, uh, see you for the other video uh, and good luck for have a nice day and good luck for all your work that you do